What's up guys and welcome back to Solve Finale Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone 2 Season 6 and its latest updates and its latest patch notes and its latest maps and everything that has been released for Call of Duty Warzone Season 6. Now ladies and gentlemen I'm going to jump through a couple of steps that you can take to make your game run as perfect as possible possible doesn't matter if you're running a low tier mid tier to a high end machine i'm going to show you settings that you can use inside windows and inside the game as well you're going to need to watch this entire video to follow my steps to have a smooth gameplay experience don't jump through my video don't jump straight to the cod settings inside the game you're going to need to follow my guidelines please do so and then please for the love of fuck leave a like leave a comment down below because it takes a lot of time and dedication to figure out what is the best settings for this game right now for the latest season all right ladies and gentlemen so the first thing i highly recommend you go ahead and do is click on the start button over here and then go to settings and then come over here where it says windows settings you're going to come to gaming and make sure you're on the xbox game bar and make sure you have this turned off and this unchecked over here and then go to game mode i highly recommend you to go ahead and switch game mode on with season six and its latest patch notes it actually increases fps and overall smoothness of gameplay please go ahead and turn this on it's very important that you have this on and not turned off from here you're going to go to graphic settings and you're going to come to this over here which says hardware accelerated gpu scheduling and turn it off please go ahead and turn this off it can actually give you stuttering by turning it on from here you're going to click on the home button and you're going to go to privacy and scroll all the way down to where you see it says background apps now if you're a windows 10 user like me all you're going to need to do is turn this from on to off if you're a windows 11 user you're going to have to individually turn these things off one by one if you are a windows 11 user but you are the one that installed windows 11 not me now if you're still on windows 10 like me all of these programs are going to run in the background and you don't want these things to be on and running in the background because it can actually use vram usage cpu usage and ram usage overall so go ahead and turn this the fuck off you really don't want these things to run in the background while you are playing your game because it's actually going to decrease the performance of your game in general. There is a lot of things to this and a lot of people don't understand why people turn this off. But trust me, go ahead and turn it off and you'll actually see a significantly increase in your game's performance. Not really much in FPS, but performance in general, you'll see an actual increase because these programs aren't running in the background anymore. From here, you're going to click on Home, and then from here, you're going to click on Apps, and you're going to go to Apps and Features. Now, over here, this is everything that you have installed on your machine. Now, I highly recommend that you go ahead and uninstall all the bullshit off your machine that you don't need, especially like single-player games that you don't play anymore, because you want your hard drive to be in the blue and not in the red. If you only have one drive, like a C drive, and all your games are on there, let's say it's an SSD or an M.2, or whatever the case might be, or you have multiple drives, please let that multiple drives be in the blue and not in the red it can actually cause your machine to slow down if it's in the red please go ahead and make sure that you have over enough space on your machine all of your single player games and bullshit you do not need go ahead and uninstall them obviously these things over here you are not going to uninstall because your machine really really needs these things it's very important that you don't fucking touch this please go ahead and don't touch that but single player games and apps that you don't fucking use please go ahead and uninstall them because it can actually slow down your machine by your machine being in the red on your drives all right from here you're going to go to the home button and then let's close out of this all right, ladies and gentlemen, so the next step I highly recommend you go ahead and do is this over here, and it plays a very big role on Windows itself and your game, getting black screen errors or just crashing to the desktop randomly or just in general your game just closes for no reason, for no reason at all, I highly recommend you go ahead and do this over here. You're going to come to the search button over here and type in CMD and then right click on it and then say run an administrator and then say yes to the command prompt and come inside here. You're going to type in SFC spacebar forward slash scan now just like this and press enter. Now once you press enter, your machine is actually going to go and scan through every single drive that you have on your machine. It might be one drive, it might be multiple drives, it can be SSDs, hard drives m.2s whatever the case might be what it will do is it will automatically fix corrupt files on your machine itself now it will fix everything that it can possibly can fix and what it will do is actually fix your game for you as well if your game has corrupt files in general so i highly recommend this is a very important step for every single person to go ahead and do if you are watching my video right now go ahead and do this it plays a very big role on your machine itself this can actually fix other games as well not just call of duty but corrupt files and programs in general so it can fix a lot of shit for your windows doesn't matter if you're windows 11 or windows 10 please go ahead and do this it's a very important step to go ahead and do please go ahead and do this all right let's jump straight into the next step 
All right, so the next step I highly recommend you go ahead and do is, and this plays the most important role inside your Call of Duty itself, okay, is the config file. And we're going to need to go over this because a lot of people don't understand what you need to do inside here. And it plays a very, very, very important role inside your game, okay? So all you're going to need to do is open up your file explorer like this, and then go to documents, and go to Call of Duty, go to players, go to this file over here that says options 32 right click on it, and open this up with any editing software like any notepad or anything like that and you're going to scroll all the way down to where you see it says thread count for handling the job queue now right now at this very moment as you can see it says render a work account i have mine at eight okay now the reason why i have mine at eight is because i have an eight core eight thread cpu and it's an intel now something i want to point out is this a lot of people don't understand this and this is why i'm making this video today a lot of people don't understand that there's a difference between Ryzen machines and Intel machines. So there's a difference between AMD CPUs or Ryzen CPUs and Intel CPUs. Now, as you can see, I have eight inside here. It's because I have an eight core, eight thread CPU from Intel. Okay. Now with Ryzen, you need to half your cores. That's how Ryzen and AMD CPUs work. With Intel, you need to put your total cores inside here. Now, this is just something I need to explain to everyone out there because a lot of people get this wrong and they might put the wrong number or figure inside here. Okay? So, in general, if you have an Intel machine, it is your total cores that you put inside here. So, let's say you have 8 cores, you put 8 here. Let's say you have 12 cores, then you put 12 here. Let's say you have 16 cores, and you put 16 inside here like this. Now, let's say you have 24 cores from an Intel CPU. Now, the highest, as you can see, can only go to 16. So, if you have a 16 core or anything higher than that, then 16 will be the highest number that you're going to put inside here. All right. Now, let's say you have a Ryzen machine. Now, obviously, with Ryzen, you're going to have to half your cores inside here. So now, let's say you have a 12-core CPU from Ryzen. You're going to need to put 6 inside here then, because that's half its cores for Ryzen CPUs. Let's say you have 10, then obviously, you put 5. Whatever your total cores is of Ryzen, you're going to half it. Now, for people out there that is running very low-end Ryzen CPUs that only has, like, I don't know, six cores, then I don't recommend three. You can try it. Go ahead at your own personal preference. Try three. See if it works. If it does not work on a lower generation Ryzen CPU where you have six cores, then you can go with your total with Ryzen. But the higher the cores are with your Ryzen CPU, like 12 and higher, then please go ahead and half it. So like I said, if you have any type of CPU from Ryzen that has a total core of 12 and higher, please go ahead and half it, okay? So obviously, half your cores on Ryzen and your total cores on Intel. And like I said before, please, please understand this, that the total is 16 for Intel users, okay? Intel uses the totals is 16. You cannot put 24 here if you have a 24 core CPU. Don't do that. Put 16 here. It's the highest count that it will actually work on. Please go ahead and do that. Now, something that a lot of people also do, and I'm just going to go over it, is this over here. A lot of people go ahead and change this to false. They type in false inside here, they just remove the true, and they put false inside here, and it actually, people are saying that it gives them more FPS. Now, I believe that's full-on bullshit, and you shouldn't believe people that say that you should put that on false, and it gives you more FPS, because it actually does fuck all in the game whatsoever. It doesn't do jack shit, and jack left town. So please, for the love of fuck, don't change this. Leave it to true. You do not want to change this at all. Okay? Don't change this. Don't change anything inside this config file that you don't fucking understand. If you're going to change something inside here and your game crashes and it doesn't want to launch or anything like that, i got a solution for you and it's very easy to do. Now, once you have changed your thing to what it needs to be, mine will be 8 because I have an Intel CPU. It's a 9700K. So it's an 8 core, 8 thread. So I put my total cores inside here, which is 8. Okay? Yet again, like I said, total cores for Intel half the course horizon that's how it works okay from here you're going to go to save once you're done doing this and if you fucked up anything inside you from watching other people's videos and your game doesn't want to work anymore there is a way to fix that all you're going to need to do is close out of this and then go to the file itself the options 3.22 if you fucked up anything inside here and you see your game runs even worse than what it did before you're just going to right click on this and delete it and make sure you delete it in your recycling bin as well then once you 
once you launch Call of Duty, it will make a brand new config file for you. And then you can go ahead and change the things that you should change. And don't touch the fucking things you shouldn't. Alright, let's jump straight into the next step. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, before I jump into the next step, is something very important I just want to point out is this. Call of Duty's developers don't give a fuck about you, me, or the Call of Duty community. They, all they care about is making money and grabbing money from the consumers for Call of Duty and consumers for, you know, computer players and stuff like that. All they care about is making money off of us right now. They don't care about the fucking game being unoptimized, broken, or anything like that, and they're doing nothing about it. So this is why I dedicate myself to making videos for you guys to help you out as best I can, and to help everyone out there in the community. It doesn't matter if you have a low-end machine, medium-end machine, high-end machine, a fucking NASA machine that can launch nuclear missiles. I don't give a fuck. Whatever machine you are running, I'm here to help you as best I can. Now, something I just want to mention is this over here is my members. All of these people inside my YouTube that has become members on my channel, I appreciate every single one of you. You guys are fucking amazing. Supporting my YouTube channel really means a lot to me. It really fucking does. You guys are fucking awesome. All you're going to need to do if you want to become a member is click on the click membership button and become a member on my YouTube channel. It will really mean a lot to me. There's also a super thanks button on my video as you're watching it right now. It's a little hot. You can click on it and donate and leave a little comment that you want there. So saying thanks or whatever the case might be, you can donate to my channel and it would really mean a fuck ton to me. As I'm helping you, you are also then helping me. It really means a lot to me. All right, let's jump straight into the next step. All right, ladies and gentlemen, something that plays a very, very big role inside Call of Duty itself is this over here. I highly recommend you go ahead and download the latest graphics card drivers. As you can see, this is the new version right now. This is the latest version, and that's why I'm showing it to you guys. And I highly recommend you go ahead and click and download the 537.42. It is the latest graphics card drivers for NVIDIA right now. If you're an AMD user, please go ahead and go look for the latest graphics card drivers. Now, I know, yes, there's a lot of people out there that would be like, yo, dude, when I roll back the drivers to an older version, my game actually performs better and stuff like that. And that's just a thing in Call of Duty. A lot of people are rolling back their drivers. Now, this is just something I want to point out. If you are not satisfied with the latest driver that has been released for Call of Duty, it's not really released for COD. It's released in general for all games is the latest drivers for nvidia and amd okay but call of duty is very outdated like they 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 can't keep up with nvidia or amd's gpu driver updates so just in general when you go ahead and download and install this driver please go ahead and try it out be on the latest version i'm always on the latest version when it comes to the driver updates for gpu drivers i highly recommend you go ahead and do this please go ahead and do this because this is new right now this is the latest version please go ahead and download it for nvidia users and amd users there will be a new gpu driver update please go ahead and download and install it and please go ahead and use it try this one out if it doesn't work for you because a lot of people actually roll back their drivers to the older version and stuff like that please go ahead and download the latest driver for your graphics card if it's nvidia graphics card or an amd please go ahead and download the latest version there is a new one out right now for nvidia and amd please go ahead and download it all right let's jump straight into the next step all right ladies and gentlemen so something that plays a very big role inside your game and in fact in all your games that you're going to be playing is this over here is nvidia control panel if you are an nvidia user like me right click on your desktop and open up nvidia control panel once it's open like this you're going to click on use the advanced 2d image settings and click on take me there it's basically just going to take you to manage 3D settings and it's going to take you inside here. Now, I've done multiple videos on why these things are off and why they are on and why they're on these settings that they are on right now. Now, I highly recommend all you're going to need to do is just copy my settings as is. You can just pause my video and copy everything as is please go ahead and copy them i don't want to make this video too long otherwise it's going to be like a way too long video copy everything i have inside here as is please go ahead and do so something i want to point out is this over here that a lot of people ask me questions about is low latency mode this is something that i highly recommend you go ahead and change depending on your machine if your machine only shows ultra over here please go ahead and select ultra okay if your machine only has on then select on okay just do not have it at off always on on if you have two options i would recommend on on leave it on on and then go ahead and apply all of these settings inside here 
please go ahead and do so. From here, you're gonna go to context around in physics and come inside here. Now, obviously, this is what your GPU is handling as physics, like the graphics and stuff like that to all your games. I highly recommend you click on this and do not select auto select, do not select CPU, select your dedicated graphics card you're currently running, and then go to apply here at the bottom. From here, you're gonna go to adjust desktop color settings and come inside here. Now, as you can see, I have multiple monitors. As you can see, this is my main screen. If you only have one screen, don't worry about it. Just be on your main screen that you play your game on, and you're gonna come inside here. You're gonna change your contrast to 65, your brightness, obviously at 50%, because you can change the brightness inside your games. You don't wanna do it on your physical machine and inside your NVIDIA control panel. You wanna do it in your games. But this is a very important one. 65 on the contrast over here, gamma at 1.00, and then digital vibrance plays a very, very big role inside Call of Duty itself. Now I go over this almost in every single video of mine because a lot of people come into my videos that are new, so this is why I go over them yet again, okay? Now this is my sweet spot over here, it's 95. Now as you can see, if you're on this setting right now on your other screen or whatever the case might be, or on the same screen, and you pull this down all the way, you'll see that your screen goes black and white. Now 50 is its default settings in general. You'll see that your windows looks washed out and stuff like that, and it kind of looks shit. I highly recommend just moving it up a little bit. If you have very bad eyesight, I recommend 65 to about 75 to about 80. Should be the max that you go to if you have bad eyesight. If your eyes in general are bad and you wear glasses and stuff like that. If you don't have bad eyesight, I recommend 95 on this over here. And it is a sweet spot for this game and all games in general. You'll see that the color pops a lot more in all the games that you're going to be playing, not just Call of Duty. All right, then all you're gonna need to do is apply these settings over here. All right, let's jump straight into the next step. Let me show you what you need to do next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in the game right now and we're in season six and welcome to season six and its latest updates and its latest maps and everything that is new in this game and everything that they fucked up inside this game. Welcome to it. All right, let's jump straight to the fucking settings of this dumbass game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in the game right now, and I'm in the display settings over here for Season 6. Now, as you can see, I have full screen borderless enabled over here. I do not use full screen exclusive. Now, right now, at this very moment, there is no difference between full screen exclusive and full screen borderless. But there's something that you need to know, and it is in the same menu right here. Okay, so I'm actually just going to mention it because it's new in the game, and they also have removed something that I'm going to point out, which is, I think they are watching my videos, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, they, the developers are watching my fucking videos, and they're listening. I swear to God, motherfuckers, you, you motherfuckers, you are my motherfuckers, and you motherfuckers that are my motherfuckers that I love so much, my subscribers, my members, my loyal fucking people, the people that fucking donate, leave comments, leave likes, leave feedback. You motherfuckers, you are my motherfuckers. I love you. Two bits, you guys are fucking amazing. Check that out, guys. Check this out. Full screen exclusive, right. And then full screen borderless, okay. Full screen borderless is what I highly recommend you go ahead and run right now. But there's something that I want to point out. It's this. This over here is something I want to point out. Constant mouse to game window. Now, if you have multiple screens, guys, then this option can be off. So you can move over to your left and right hand side screen or your left side screen or your right side screen, whatever the case might be. If you have two screens, you have three screens, whatever the case might be. I have three, as you saw. Now, this is something that I would highly recommend you turn off if you would like to go to your other screens. Like you go to Discord or you go to whatever your other screens, whatever it has, you turn this off. But if you only want to be on the game itself, as you can see, I can move my mouse completely off my screen. It's now off my screen. And then if I move it back, it's back onto my main screen. But if I put this on and apply it, I can't go anywhere with my mouse. It stays on the screen. It's stuck. Okay, so I would highly recommend if you have multiple screens, turn this off and apply it. Now I can move it off my screen as you can see. Now it's on my other screens, right? As you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, the eco mode has now been removed. It is gone. Ladies and gentlemen, eco mode has been removed. That option there was just a bunch of bullshit. I'm going to say it again. It was a bunch of bullshit. And I don't know why they went to go ahead and put this option in this game. I mean, why do we need an eco mode? When did Call of Duty become eco-friendly? What the actual fuck, Activision? Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for watching my videos. And thank you for removing the fucking option. Because you guys smoke fat crack and you don't know what to do with your settings.
And literally, you're only just a money-making scheme. That's all you are. And I fucking love the fact that you are watching my videos. So hear me out. Stop fucking just releasing updates for people to buy skins, new season battle passes and shit like that, and fix the fucking game. People are sick and tired of this shit, of this game being unoptimized. Yes, we know you're making Modern Warfare 3. We get it. Please, for the love of fuck, let Modern Warfare 3 be worth it. Because you are going to lose a lot of players if that game isn't the way it should be. Optimized playable shit like that so i hope for the love of fuck that you are watching my fucking videos you developers that smoke that fat 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 crack anyways ladies and gentlemen let's jump straight into the quality tab and let's go over these settings over here i'm just going to go over a couple of settings that you guys need to know and what you should be using for season six and its latest updates now yes there is new maps and stuff like that there's a lot of new things in the new season but there's a lot of changes that also happened that you need to know about now yes ladies and gentlemen i am still running intel's upscaling and i still prefer it with my specific rig Everyone knows my rig by now. If you're a subscriber, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is my rig that I'm running, and you know my rig. It is a 9700K, an RTX 2060 OC, and 16 gigs of RAM. This is still the Intel upscaling that I'm using. This is still the best upscaling for me personally with my machine. Now, obviously, a lot of people don't prefer this, and a lot of people prefer other upscalings inside this game in general. Now, this is how I run my game on my specific rig. Not everyone has the exact same specific rig or the exact same rigs. So... If you don't like this upscaling over here, then obviously I do prefer, if you don't like this one, please try NVIDIA Image Scaling, use it at ultra quality, and 5 over here. Yet again, 5 is going to be your own personal preference, but I do recommend 5. But it's going to be your own personal preference on the sharpness and the scaling inside here for your specific rig. All right? Make sure this is on ultra quality if you are using NVIDIA image scaling. Now, something I want to point out is this. If you have this selected, make sure you have Filmic SMA T2 times on this at normal, 90% on the video memory scale, normal, high, high, and high. All right? Now, if you aren't using any of these two upscalings over here and you use NVIDIA DLSS, yes, I know, there's a lot of people out there that use NVIDIA DLSS as an upscaling for this game. If you are one of those people, I recommend that you use this at balanced and then use your own personal preference on the sharpness. You might not like 100. I don't know why mine's on 100. I don't even use NVIDIA DLSS, but... This is going to be your own personal preference. I would I would bump this down a bit, like, I don't know, like, probably, like, 70. But it's your own personal preference over here, depending if you're using the video deal. It's, it's, a lot of people are using it because it gives the best performance. It gives the best FPS in general. It's not just DLSS that gives the best performance and FPS. There's a lot of upscalings in this game that you can use to give you the best performance. It depends on your rig. It depends on your specific machine. What are you running? Are you running a Ryzen machine? Are you running an Intel machine? Are you running AMD GPU? NVIDIA GPU? It does depend on your machine. Okay. Now, something I just want to mention is this. AMD FSR 1.0 is... A really good upscaling for all GPUs. Just because it says AMD does not mean you need to have an AMD graphics card. I know a lot of people that's using AMD FSR 1.0 right now on quality with NVIDIA graphics cards. And it gives them a really good amount of FPS and an FPS boost overall. So I recommend you actually use AMD FSR if you are struggling with FPS and you want the best of FPS to push it up all the way that it can go to go with AMD FSR 1.0 and at quality over here. Please make sure also to have this at Filmic SMA T2 times normal 90% yet again. Now, something I just want to mention here with the video memory scale is if you are running a lower budget end gaming graphics card or a lower budget gaming machine, you can then drop this 90 to about 75 and just press enter or you can hit 65 and press enter and leave it like this. You do not need to go, I repeat, you do not need to go to 50% like this which is using the least of your vram so i would recommend 65 like this all right and press enter or 75 like this and press enter that's how you're going to run it but never ever change these three things here normal high high and high but yet again a lot of people do less fps if they put this on normal so they go to low over here 
if you have a machine that's incapable of running this game at normal, because as you can see, it eats a lot of VRAM on the right hand side bottom, it actually eats a lot of VRAM, then go with low. There's no visual difference between low and normal. The reason why I run normal is my machine can actually run it without any performance dips and my FPS doesn't drop at all or anything like that, so I run my game at normal. But if you are getting performance dips and stuttering and FPS loss and you can see your FPS dropping in the game using this specific settings, put it at low. Please go ahead and do that. But these three here, always at high. Never change it. You're going to tear out your own eyes of how bad the game looks because it looks like absolute dog shit. I repeat, dog shit. Okay. Now, let's go over the rest of them. So this is something I do always. I skip this option because this is the worst upscaling I've ever seen in this game ever is NVIDIA DLAA. I skip it always and I'll always skip it until Modern Warfare 3 comes out and let's see what upscalings they release for Modern Warfare 3, right? So skip this bullshit. You don't want it. You're going to go to AMD FSR 2.1. A lot of people are also using this upscaling as well. Now, I don't prefer this myself with my specific rig, but you might prefer it with your specific rig. If you are using AMD FSR 2.1, go with quality over here, and then obviously it overwrites these two things. That's a reason why I don't like AMD FSR 2.1. A lot of people in my comments are going to say that they are using this one, but yet again, like I said, it's your own personal preference. So if you use this and you're getting the best performance, then go all ahead and use it. Go for it. Fucking use this option. But then go with quality over here. Go with 75 or 65, not 90% on the video memory scale. Over here, low yet again. High, high, and high. All right. From here, you're going to go down to where it says Fidelity FX Cache. Now, still today, a lot of people say that Fidelity FX Cache is the best upscaling. Number one, it's because of its sharpness and its strength in the game. To see your enemies better and everything just looks better overall. Okay, now something that I want to mention myself with my specific rig and testing, Fidelity FX Cache actually gives me less FPS. And that's weird. Because this was the best option in this game since, I don't know, season 1, 2, 3, and like 4. Maybe 4. No, I changed. I actually changed over to, to this in season 4 already. Right? So, yeah, this thing was holding up very good. It probably still holds up today. There's a lot of people that still get away with this option over here. Yes, I get it. I get it. So if you want to use Fidelity FX Cash, go with 60 on the strength, or it's your own personal preference on what you're going to use the strength over here. But yet again, ladies and gentlemen, please change this to Fulmic SMAAT two times so you don't get jagged edges. If you want a small, slight bit FPS boost, yes, you can go to this, but you're going to get jagged edges in your game, and you don't want that. If you don't really care about the jagged edges in your game, and you want, I don't know, five to six more fps then use this option over here with all means if you're an fps chaser go with this option over here and then obviously you're going to put this at 65 like this and then obviously low high high and high all right now that we've gone over the upscalings i'm going to go over the rest of the settings now let's scroll down and as you can see, clutter draw distance has no fucking option over here. Now, the reason why there's no option inside here is because I went to go ahead and change my config file. That's why there's no option here. But what you can do is you can just go over here and go to short. If you have an option over here, I highly recommend you select short. Particle quality at low. Particle quality level at very low. Bullet impacts on. Just leave it on. It has no FPS impact on your machine at all. Not your GPU, not your CPU, not your RAM. As you can see, it literally says effect on CPU low and effect on GPU low. Okay? So RAM, it has nothing to do with it. GPU and CPU low. So keep it on. It won't do anything to your machine. You won't get less FPS. All right? Damage layers is your own personal preference. Shader quality low. Tessellation off, 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 always off. Leave this off. Don't touch this fucking option. On demand texture stream off leave it off it's a video on its own it literally spoon feeds you on the right hand side what this fucking actually does but i don't recommend using it if you're already struggling with this game don't touch this option don't switch it on leave it the fuck off thank you all right streaming quality low volumetric quality low physics quality you do not need to see the fucking quality of the water and physics, you do not need to see it. It's an unoptimized game, so why would you go push things up? Leave this at low for the love of fuck.
Water quality default. Yes, I know, for the love of fuck, a lot of people's games overwrite this by themselves, and then one of these are selective. Go ahead and put it at default. You do not need to see the water fucking quality. I mean, who the fuck jumps into this game, swims around, and be like, this is the best feeling ever. Oh my god. Then go outside, go to the beach, and go look at water. This is not an option. They need to remove this option. It's a fuck option. Like, uh, <sighs> like, I understand Call of Duty is watching my videos finally, and they're removing things that I highly recommend they should remove. But it seems like this is an option that they don't want to remove. I think the reason why is because Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is going to have way more options for water quality. Probably like raindrop quality, the sun glare, clouds. It's going to irritate the living sh fuck out of me. Trust me. Because why do we need to change the settings of the fucking quality of the water? Like, we don't need this. It's a competitive game. I don't jump into this game and then just watch the water. I jump into the game and fuck people's faces up. That's what I do. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, just fucking leave this option on default. And that's what you're going to leave it on. Alright? Shadow map resolution. Very low. Screen space shadows. Low. Spot shadow quality. Low. Spot cache. Ultra. The reason why I have this at Ultra is because I went to go ahead and change my NVIDIA control panel settings to 100 gigs. If you went to go ahead and skip through my video like a fucking moron, go back. Because you're going to need to watch my entire video for this video to actually work for you. Don't skip through my video and then leave a comment that this didn't work. Don't skip through my fucking video. You need to watch from the start to the end. Okay? Alright, particle lighting, low. Ambient occlusion, off, off, always off. You do not need these options. You do not. It's an FPS hogger and then obviously the show more. You don't want this. Turn it the fuck off. Screen space reflections, off. On all games, I would recommend this off because it's an FPS hogger. And on this game, it's even worse. Turn it the fuck off. Static reflection quality, low. With the grid volumes. <sighs> Turn it the fuck off, okay? I might get a hernia because of the options that's inside this game. And the reason this option is here, for the love of fuck, knows why this option's in here. Turn it the fuck off, okay? NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency is back in the display and quality settings because Call of Duty has realized that they fucked up because they removed this NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency to the mouse and keyboard settings before. If you've followed my videos before and you're a loyal subscriber and you're a loyal member to me, they move that to the mouse settings. It's back in the quality settings, ladies and gentlemen. And it's been here now since Season 5 because they realized they fucked up. Okay, it's good. It's good that they realize that they're fucking morons. Anyways, on plus boost. Depth of field off. World motion blur off. Weapon motion blur off. It's a multiplayer fucking game. Turn these things off. But yet again, it's your own personal preference. Form grain 0, 0.00. I have seen people lift this up to higher over here. But my own personal preference would be 0, 0.00. Alright, let's jump straight into the view tab. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the view tab, and this is my specific settings over here. As you can see, this is my specific settings. You can go ahead and copy these settings if you want to. It's your own personal preference. I can't tell you what to do inside the view settings. Everyone has their own personal preference on the field of view and all of these things inside you. If you want to copy mine, you can go ahead and do so. All right, from here, this is very important, which is interface. We're going to come inside here, and we're going to scroll all the way down, and then from the bottom, we're going to work our way up now it says here use system mouse cursor now i don't recommend this so turn it the fuck off leave it off i don't know why that's an option here i really don't fucking know leave it off inverted flash please take advantage of this option by turning it on instead of you playing this game at night and your entire room going fucking white once you get flashbang your screen will go black instead of white Please go ahead and do that, okay? This I would recommend turning on. This I would recommend turning on. And then skip the introduction movie. It's something that you have had, should have had on since the beginning when this game came out, okay? Skip the fucking introduction movie. You don't need to see it every time you launch this dumbass game, alright? So skip this fucking option. Turn it on, okay? 
scroll up you're going to come here to where it says this one over here this is its size you can make it bigger so you can actually see what the fuck's going on here at the top so i would recommend putting this larger or you can have it at default default is just very small if it's bothering you and it's too big on your screen when it's large like this it's your own personal preference all right but i would recommend putting this on on so you can see everything that your machine is currently doing while you are playing the game all right from here you're going to come all the way up like this all the way up till here where it says color customization you're going to come inside here go to filter two both 100 percent over here 100 percent over here and then man, please for the love of fuck change your team and your party to the same fucking color please go ahead and do this all right and then you're going to go to your enemies and have this at your own personal preference yes i know everyone has their own personal preference i have mine at pink magenta pink the reason why i have this like this because nothing in this game is fucking pink and pink stands out a fuck ton so i highly recommend you go ahead and select this all right and you're going to apply these settings now this is the most important setting that you're going to need to do is this over here you're going to come over here where it says restart shader optimization. Now, the reason why I say you do this is because you're going to click on this and then say restart. Restart your entire game. Close it out of Steam, out of Battle.net. Close the game. Come back into the game. And then it's going to, at the top left over here, it will say installing shaders. Let your shaders finish. Once your shaders are finished, you are good to go to play the game. Now, something I want to mention as well before you just end off and guard on my video is display gamma i've seen a lot of people actually copying my settings and literally l literally fucking stealing my settings and then re-uploading it to their youtube channel with their 80 subscribers or whatever the case might be listen here okay the reason why i have display gamma at 2.4 is because i play on a 55 samsung smart curve 4k tv that's why this is at 2.4 okay now, a lot of people on YouTube say that you should put this on 2.4. No! If you have a display unit, a gaming display or a monitor, put this at 2.2. It literally tells you here, why would you want what on? Okay? 2.4 is for fucking TVs, ladies and gentlemen, not monitors. Alright? Fucking hell. Like, I don't know why people are stealing my shit. Like, I, I guess I'm an inspiration to them. And it's good, fuckers. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new year. And if this helped you, smash that thanks button under my video. It will mean a lot to me. And as always, just here to help the Call of Duty community as best I can. And as always, peace out.